Recall that your PNS transmits information about the body and its environment to the CNS. How does it collect that information? The sensory neurons of the PNS are connected to sense organs in your body. These are organs that are specialized to detect something about the outside world and turn it into a nerve signal. The most obvious of these are your eyes, which detect light, your ears, which detect sound, your nose, which detects molecules floating around in the air, your tongue, which detects molecules that get into your mouth, and your skin, which detects changes in temperature and detects forces that are applied to it. Each of these organs collects its specialized type of information and turns it into a nerve signal, which is then passed to the PNS. Sensory neurons transmit that signal to the brain, which processes the information, and you then become aware of it. So, you experience the nerve signals from your eyes as sight, color, shape, and movement. And those nerve signals from your ears become sound with volume and pitch and direction. The nerve signals from your nose becomes the sensation of smell, and that from your taste buds becomes taste. And the nerve signals from your skin becomes touch and the sensation of hot or cold. Let's look in more detail at the eye. Here's a diagram of a human eye. It's rather complicated, but we'll just focus on a few specific features. This is the outside surface of the eye, the cornea. The colored ring in a person's eye is the iris. It widens or constricts depending on how much light is entering the eye. Too much light and the nervous system, the autonomic, will narrow it down. If the light level drops, the iris will open up to let more light in. The hole in the middle of the iris is the pupil. It is literally just a hole that lets the light in, and it's the size of the pupil that is changed when the iris relaxes or constricts. So the light passes through the pupil and into the lens, which is for focusing, like in a camera. Just as focusing a camera makes a nice sharp image, the lens of your eye can be squashed or stretched by the ligaments that are attached to it to allow you to focus on objects that are at different distances. The beam of light having passed through the lens then falls on the back side of your eyeball, which is the retina. This is a thin, delicate layer of cells, and each of these specialized cells contains light-sensitive molecules. Each light-sensitive cell in the retina is connected to a sensory neuron, and when light falls on it, it causes a signal in that neuron. The signal is then passed on to another neuron and another and so on. So whenever your eye is open, all the thousands of retinal cells are causing the sensory neurons to fire off signals. And all the chains of neurons join together in a superhighway of information called the optic nerve that passes through the retina and transmits all that information directly to the brain. Your brain processes the information and you then see the image that passed through your eye a short time before. How cool is that?